Hello! So, after yesterday's 46 defences, I have returned to try and break at least 50. It wouldn't have mattered anyway because it, my PS3 was set to turn off after 5 hours, I think, and I was not getting up after every 5 hours just to do that. So, here we go again. New plan. Cunning plan, he hopes. There isn't really a cunning plan. Uh, same deal. Same same game plan, really. Just got to be more careful. Got to be more willing to grapple. I get way too... Uh, I guess so later on, I, I don't know, I got a bit too uh, confident with the striking. Yeah, we'll get it eventually. Also, it now has a defense counter uh, on the uh, recommendation of a friend or two, well, three, a couple of friends, people. So I shall update that as we go. It turns out I can actually text and I can update it on the go, which is nice. So, let's see. Uh, game mode, title defense. Let's do this! So, uh, I, this is probably going to be a short one. I don't, this is probably going to go for like 20, 30 minutes, and then what happens is I'll be back later. Uh, I'm going to do this in parts now. I'm going to leave my PlayStation on until I get there. So, because I've turned it off, so it won't all, it won't turn off by itself now. So, barring a power cut, knock on wood, touch wood. It's not real wood, but hey, it'll help. Uh, middleweight simulation, 46, tart defenses, record order kennel grove. That's pretty cool to see. Okay. Right. What about the goals list? What do we got here? Let's see if we can get try and get some of these. Right. Win by... Okay. Win by Cage KO. Interesting. Transition counter sub. Oh, yes. I don't know if uh, Kendall has that. Win by UD. I've never had a unanimous decision on title, on title defense. Huh. Weird. Uh, what's up? How are you, man? Got a lot of these. Three fights in a row with the first, hey, the first round here. Sweet. Who is that? I think I've, I've heard the name before. Okay, so I have to get 50 in a row. Jesus, 500 wins. God damn. Dude, they make you earn this. I love it. It's awesome. 500 wins. Fuck me. Thousand punches. Done, done. So a lot of the a lot of the striking ones are done. I I like that. Like Chuck. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Jesus, there are so many. By the end of the fight, deal a cumulative one ten thousand percent in body damage. Blimey. Well, Walmart. Uh, over here. Uh, Walmart is just Asda. It's the same company. Um, but we don't have Asda in Ireland, so I suppose they might have them in uh, in Asda in England if they are bringing them worldwide, that is. Right. Middleweight. Simulation. Let's go. Kendall Grove, son. It's time to Go to war again. And get your head blown off. Alright. Let us post in Yield Discord. Yes, I understand. We are now Discord.com. We've leveled our data. I'm not. I've already signed in. What are you on about? There we go. Yes. Okay, good first one. Between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove and Yoshihiro Akiyama. I can win this. Oh, I live here. Yoshihiro Akiyama set to enter the octagon. I've lived here for um, the belt. Akiyama is almost ten years. Okay, cool. Blimey, it's warm. Of the oh. UFC. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Oh. Yeah, I've, not, I've, never, I've never seen a moon pie in my life. Although I've seen something similar. We've got similar stuff. Right, come on, Yoshihiro. Sorry, son, but it's over for you. Your title and run for a while, go. anyway. Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're the champion? Okay. He's defending his new middleweight title. Well, I uh, 
I grew up in, I sort of, I, yeah, I've got British parents, my mother's British, um, we got British, you know, British cousins and all that, obviously, well, they live over here, a couple, a little bit, um, and, well, I sort of, I, 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 I grew up for the first seven years in England, and then I moved to Cyprus, lived there for, uh, just about three and a half years or so, nearly four, moved over to Ireland, and I've been here ever since. So what am I doing? Oh my god. Hold on. Let's let's deal with this, because I'm I'm struggling here. He's got some pressure on it, Joe. Choke. There we go. Uh yeah, I, I don't know, I just I don't have any Irish friends, so well, when I um when I went to school here, I, I did sort of start picking up an Irish accent, but I don't know, it fades after a while. And I mostly, I don't, I don't really speak to many Irish people. I speak to uh, my, my best friend is Dutch. Uh, so my, a couple of my, the other, my other best friends are English. So, and I spend all day around, you know, English mother. So, it's yeah, the Irish doesn't really. I mean, I can do an Irish accent. That comes with living here for so long. But it's fun though. You can mess around with it. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute. Well, he's out of the way. Oh, I should probably update the counter. Okay, hold on. Well, let's see. Let's see how easy this is. Oh, oh come on, man. What the fuck? That's, that's very... Oh, you bastard. All right, hold on. I'm going to have to do this every time then, I guess. Uh, there isn't one. Well, we have... They have cut... We have... You know, we have... Shops, but not really an as Fine, if you're going to make me do this all the time, I'll do it all the time. Bastard. Oh, well. There you go. Head up a little bit. Uh, hold on. No, no, fuck. Hold on. I'm just trying to get this right. Whatever. No, it's not right. Hold on. Do that for now. Appreciate that, sir. Yeah, whatever, I'll leave it there. I guess maybe Duns, but it's not really an Asda. They're not, they're, they're a different company. I don't, I don't use OBS. OBS does not work for me. Uh, it has, it starts. It, it, I, I have tried. Literally everything, every single version of OBS you get your hands on. I've tried, I've tried every solution. I've looked up everything. I've tried everything for months. It doesn't work. I gave up on it. And then I got Marilla's action and it worked immediately. Which is weird. Uh, but I use my Gata Game Capture thing. It's got uh, some built in thingies that you can mess around with, which is nice. And I uh, repurposed the old Fight Night judge blocking thing for. Uh, the scorecard blocking thing for the little uh, background of the counter. I just know that at some point my luck is going to run out and I'm going to get knocked out by a flash knockout. It, I mean, I mean, unless I just constantly grapple, which yeah, I can do. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. <sighs> And now, this man is a wadjuk, and now, introduced, and when the action begins, are you ready? So warm today, man. Well, I suppose I shouldn't mind, eh? Better than being freezing cold. Well, at least when you're cold, you can put clothes on, or like, put this way. Go on, son. Let's get him down. Oh! Beautiful takedown. Yep, arm triangle. Get it done. He's pressing down with his weight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. And it's over. It is all over. Submission victory. Arm triangle. All right. Okay, I'm dating this, Mike. Oh, let me let me see if I can adjust this real quick because it's really annoying in here. Uh, let's go 48. There we go. Let 
take a look at it. That's very Here awesome. he locks it in, Mike. Gets all of well, his I guess weight pressed down, down against that arm, Fair. locking the neck on one side and his own arm on the other, cutting off the blood supply to the head. Beautiful submission by arm triangle choke. Too low. Okay. Well, hey. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to It's worth it, I suppose, the little counter. 56 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle choke. Uh I'm going to turn the uh, mic off during the loading screen. I'm just going to put a fan on for a few seconds and cool down because it is warm as fuck. title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove and heavy-handed Chris the Crippler Lieben. Chris Lieben making his way to the octagon, ready to compete for the title. Right. Chris Lieben is known for his balls. It's a good fight for a good fight for us with Chris. He's also actually got or in Chris rather. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. Oh yeah, that was now with the official introduction. That was indeed a journey. Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Uh, Erotic made a great little mini duck on that. Now, this man it's on the channel. Check it out now, if you have uh, any time. Introducing the and when the action begins. Are re you ready, sir? You ready? Chris Lieben, Kendall Grove. Right. And here we go. Joe, how do you see this playing Let us silver Mr. Leben. They always moan. After defending his middleweight title. They don't know what I'm trying to do. Why is he blocking exactly. what the fuck? Why is he blocking everything? Give it up. Fighters won't be able to get in his head. Wow, okay. Let's get Leben out of here. Suddenly he's blocking more than he normally would. Beautiful super. It feels like he is. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. He's pressing down with his weight. Yeah. Nice. The there is a lot of footage. There is. Let me count. Let's see how much there is. What a performance. He defends. If we just go from the three overall, there is. Hold on. Let's see. You know what? Better idea. Go to YouTube Studio and check. No, never mind. Well, we got... Well, tell me. Why you... There we go. Uh, Beautiful technique here. And gets I count there at some point. It's a ridiculous amount. Let's see. With the official decision, ladies and gentlemen, it keeps giving me unrelated things for some reason. At one minute, okay, seconds three, first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle choke. And still, the UFC middleweight champion of the world, Kendall the Spider. Holds on to his UFC middleweight title.
uh, 59 hours or so. That's what I just had a look. Uh, that's just quick, quick maths, as they say. I got about 59, 59 hours or so. Maybe 58, give or take. So almost 60 hours. Right, let's adjust this again. I'm really upset that I have to do this. I have to keep moving it, but hey, it is what it is. I can't believe I almost streamed that for 10 hours. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, never again. Never, ever, ever again am I doing that in my entire life. To be honest, that was kind of a useless venture, but it was more of a personal thing. Like, I knew it was possible, so I had to do it. Because I'm stupid and I keep doing that to myself. I have played Fight Night, yeah. You think I want to learn enough to play Metal Gear Solid 2 in European Extreme? I thought that was the hardest thing ever. To be honest, it's still harder than Yes with Yes. Yes with Yes is more of an endurance test. Actually, to be also fair, that's kind of what Metal Gear Solid 2 is a little bit. Uh, especially with... Um, uh, what's his face? Ray. Metal Gear Ray. Yeah, I might one day. Ooh, Mr. Campman. How are ye? Right, lads, let me know if uh, if any of you at some point uh, hop out and then pop back in at some point later. Let me know if you think, Making if you like the idea of the defense count, if it's, if it's uh, coming in handy for you. Of being in the Octagon, Harley Davidson. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a mixed book. And now, it should do And when the action begins, our ready, sir. Martin Campman, Kendall Grove. All uh, right, let's Round one let's get rid of Mr. Campman. He's got good subs, to be honest. He got the body lock. He's got the arm triangle. They're still shouting boring while I'm about to choke it live out. Yeah, there we go. That's about as quick as you can actually get a submission on this game. Yeah, it's fun. I can do it. I mean, huh. It will get eat well, I suppose there'll be less of it. Well, not less of it, but it won't be as often later. On. The adjusting isn't the issue, it's mostly the um thing after move all the time. It bugs with it, it's not perfectly like it was before, but it is what it is. Take a look at it. I left some space at the on the right there it's when it gets to double digits. To the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 30 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle choke. Uh... Okay. How quick was that? 30 seconds. So that's really 15 seconds of the game has. Do you know what? I'm gonna check something. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the clock on for the next part. I wanna test something. I wanna I want I wanna see if they slow down time in the um in the submissions. Oh, I forget. Can we not argue please? I still remember what I was doing yesterday, yeah, so I had like multiple runs which I thought it was THE run. Then it just wasn't to, have, wasn't to be, and then I finally had that run which was kind of crazy, I got like 6 in a row, 7 in a row. Belcher, okay. I think, I think Justice is going to clock him and uh, finish him early. 
Big right hand, left hand. I think he's going to beat Tony. And now, this man is a free stop. And now, it should do. And when the action begins, are you ready, sir? Alan Belcher, Kendall Grove. And here. Okay, let's see here. Where are you, clock? Here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts? I mean, I like both. I kind of want. Um, He's coming in to defend his middle. Well, I do kind of want um, How does he Tony to win just so we get Tony to be. But it's all going to come down to who can yeah, same. Their game plan. That's what I think. Know that the champion is oh, beautiful suplex. Let's see. He's got the arm triangle. No, time does not slow down in a submission on this game. Okay, fair enough. Submission defense. He's pressing down with his weight. Oh, he escapes. Able to posture up. He is taking a beat. Man, how I wish it was real time. Dude, he could take some fucking shots. I'm gonna dash him from half guard. They gotta pick up some pace, or they're gonna stand him up. Oh, good elbow! Bloody hell! My God, hold on. Belcher's oh. Horrifying ground and pound from the top. Looking to finish the darts. He's got it sunk in. That's a terrible waste of stamina, and I won't do it again. But can he finish it here? It's pretty tight, Mike. Actually, while I'm here, Joe, I think Cruz is going to get it done by decision. But... Oh, he's got it. It is all over. Submission victory. Take a and with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, referee Eve Levin has called Weird, because I know in 09. I, I'm pretty sure in 09 the time to slow down this submission. Of the very first round. Declared the winner by tap out due to a dose choke. And... Uh, hold on. Let me up, ditch. The witch. The no, weight counter. Fucking hell. The Brazilian accent is too alluring. Right. Yeah, Dom is, he's very, that, that, that movement is crafty. What's up, Ash? Do you, mind, do you mind me calling you Ash or do you want me to call you Adam? I don't mind. Oh, go now. Still, it's early days, so. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, I know. I, I don't mind Henry, to be honest. I think he's alright. It's pretty obvious he just puts it on mostly. He's just a goofy this guy. Is a mixed martial, and now introduced, and when the action begins, our... the one where he said if Marialdo was funny. And All right, cool. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the octagon tonight? Don't bother, Since just get them the down. Track, he's already defended his belt. Oh, beautiful takedown. He's got the arm triangle. I saw a game fax thread the other day. If someone mentioned the difficulty goes up to Ultimate Plus. Well, I mean, 
I think Heavenly... When I say act, I guess I mean he plays it up a bit. Like, I'm, like I, I did... I mean, Heavenly's a goofy guy, right? So he's probably going to be kind of like that. But I think he does... I think he turns it up a little bit for the cameras and stuff. I don't know if the guy was uh, the ultimate plus thing. I'm not sure. It's probably just saying. Ultimate. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest. It ain't worth breaking a controller, man. It ain't worth it. Declaring the winner by tap out. Yes, sir. I got the fifth... Uh, 46 defenses yesterday, and I lost to uh, Vandalay. I got two. We get a strike. He, I got rocked in the. Uh, uh, yes, it's difficult because you can't take any break. Well, you technically can if you could leave your PlayStation on, but you can't like save and come back. And you know you. Uh, um, event like at some point damage starts to carry over. Well, no, not at some point. It does. Darryl will. Let me. Okay, let me put it this way. Only a certain amount of damage that you take to the head will recover and stamina as well. So, shit on me, update the count. Six, right? What's up, Riley? What the fuck? I bet that. Middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove and Husamar Paul Harris. Okay, okay. Husamar Paul Harris set to enter the octagon yeah. and attempt to capture the belt. Paul this Harris is more is enjoyable. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt with some very nasty leg locks. He's got a ton of experience with over 20... Set to enter the octagon. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Zen I'm gonna do this in two hour stints. The official energy drink. I'm not um I'm not saying it for five hours. Our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon. So I'm gonna do two hours, take a while off, come back to another two. Sleep, come back the next day, do two. And I'm hoping that'll keep me fresh as well, because if I sometimes you can lose, you can slip a little bit. Usamar Paul Harris, Kendall Grove, and here we go. I suppose a little bit, yeah. Fight, the yeah, to make sure they they He's they were happy to strike. Who's list of middleweights to retain the belt already? Oh, yeah. He has defeated six top contenders. Well, I don't know if he's faced a challenge. I think he's he's good. So uh, he's much. He, you see, I don't know. Tonight, Cody's got Anyone good boxing, but he he sort of he sees red when he gets hurt. When it hits 35 is when it starts getting, you know, it's basically ultimate point point. Nice knee. The, the, the difficulty just, you know, it, it starts you know, easy then. Ramps up. You know what, cage KO, let me get one while I'm here. Ah, uh, right, yeah, I suppose. Well, I don't think I'll ever have a a better Tata run, personally. I mean, it doesn't really get much harder than three overall, does it? Uh, I, got the, I got the 46. I lost to Pride Vandalay. That was uh, depressing. But, yeah. Oh, screw you. Let's give him a, a bit of punch. Let's get up. Put him against the cage. Knock him out. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. You strong cunt. He's got his back here. There we go. And now he's answered. Oh come on, I'm gonna hit you with that front kick. You know that, right? You can't you can't survive forever. Paul Harris is breathing heavy right now, Mike. What the Hit the cunt, there we go. He's got the clinch. Oh! 
Yeah, I know. I knew I should have shot for that early. Uh, Vandalay, Pride Vandalay, was that? That one dropped him. He's hurt. He's hurt. What's up, Ari? No, let him up. Oh, you fucking! That's something I could try. Maybe later. Uh, it's, it's hard to get them against Ultimate. Um, it's hard to get. What it's called? Uh, whips on Ultimate. And even if you can, they often lock it. I haven't. I never caught an opponent's kick. Oh wait, I did. Yeah, I let him go. Never mind. I just want that cage KO thing. Let's go to. Yeah, I did a little bit. I did, I did a couple of ranked games, I think, the other day. Uh, no, they look better. But even though I don't think the textures are any good. Like, the textures aren't as good. They're much more detailed on this game. In terms of the actual fighter, like, models, they look more detailed here. They look way too fucking smooth on UFC 3 for some reason. I think, yeah, I think uh, Gaethje's going to get it done. He shoots, and he's down. He okay. would not be denied there. Come on, go, go, go. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Ah! He's got the clinch. Joe, he's got his opponent up against the fence. Bastard. Closing the distance, he's got the clinch, Joe. Put him against the cage. Uh, no, I don't think so. No. See if I can... Hold on. Dangerous situation. Mother. Why are you so... Oh my god. Hold on. Let's circle off here. He's got his back here. There you go. Tough to do in this position with the cage there for his opponent. He's really landing those short punches inside, Mike. He's got the tight clinch. You oh my god, his fucking clinch stats are too high. Close range here, Joe. Oh, oh there we go. He decides to let him up. He's got the clinch. What the fuck does it take to kill you, man? I know Grove is weak, but fuck me. Pulls the legs out, he's got him down. I just want the fucking There you go. Bullshit. Oh my goodness. Just over a minute remains. Hold on. He's got his back. They do look awesome. And it's true, 60 FPS. Wait, he's, he's running out of fucking stamina, man. Oh, yeah, thanks, Cage. Yep. They're technically not preset, but they, they look based. Well, they do look quite preset. Because there's not much variation. What are you doing, son? Come on. Waste of stamina. And he gets the takedown. Got a hold of the body, kept driving forward. Two rounds in the bush. Three rounds to go. Dude, I'm kind of glad I didn't land the fly. I didn't want to knock him out. I just want to hurt him so I can finish him easy on the cage. That's part, that's one of the uh, goals you can get. So I'm just trying to finish him there. Like, while it's early on, I might as well, you know. This is the prime time to get some of those goals out of the way. That, that don't take, you know, tons of strikes. Let's take you a look have at to build up over some multiple fights. Hey, you never know, I might hit a million, uh, a million UFC points by the end of this. I doubt by the end of this it at some point. Fight, so it is for five, five minute rounds. Oops. Uh, okay. Oh, big shot. He's okay, down. there we go. He ate that one. Let him up. Oh, he recovers. Man, this crowd is loving it, Mike. What a fight. The clinch game once again. I, I recommend it. It's definitely worth a play. Hold on. There we go. I know there's a way to get... There we go. Transition, damn it. He's got the clinch. 
No, 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 no. Ah! Closing the distance. He's got the clinch, Joe. What the fuck? Honestly. Oh man, Paul Harris is cut open bad now, Mike. Hold on, there we go. He's got him down. Nicely done. Up, cunt. Dangerous situation. Oh. Oh. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Ah. Why won't you get fucking knocked out, you steroid-using tree trunk cunt? Oh, get fucked, man. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Bam, takes him right down. Thank you. Wow, that's easy. And he lets him back up. There we go. Goodbye. Thanks, Mario. Right. By five pounds as well. Must have, something must have gone wrong. What a performance! He defends the UFC. Or he just miscalculated. I don't know. Here we see it again. Just you can't get better technique than that. Absolutely perfect. Fans all around the world, if you're wondering how to properly utilize the clinch, watch this right here. Just textbook Muay Thai knee right there, Mike. Brutal knockout. Yeah. Bruce Buffer has the official. Oh, okay, decision. just wanted to. Okay. Have to defend, okay. Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes 13 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Uh, it's not been. They've been negotiating it, I think. I'll probably be on that. I haven't. I want to, though, one day. Oh. I heard there was a UFC game that was like a clone of the Pride game that wasn't quite as good. <laughs> Pardon me. Ooh. Well, I, I, I think we will reach a uh, million. Shut the mic. I really hope Pettis wins, and I like Soroni, but goddamn, I love me some Anthony Pettis. I want him to win so bad. Like, I feel like Pettis could have a title run, but he's just got, he's, I don't know. He, I, I, I think he's just, there's a piece missing. Like, he, he, he seems to fight more, he just wants fun fights more than actually wants the title back. Because he, he still has the skill, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe he's just been figured out. Is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the This man is a freestyle fighter. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He's and when oh. the action begins, a referee and court Let us defeat Mr. Grave. I mean, Corbin Gay, right? And we are underway. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kim? Oh, takes him for a ride. Looking for an arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. Oh, it's so nice when that this easy. Submission victory. Arm triangle. There you go. They're all slouches now. That's for sure. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. That's what I need to do. For these early fights. So it's on total defense. There is no difficulty. It sort of scales from low to like real like to ultimate. So it basically goes from I say I'd, I'd say advanced. It goes from advanced to ultimate. The thirtieth fight is when it switches when it reaches ultimate basically. So every ten fights, the difficulty jump. Kendall Grove holds on 
subscribe to his UFC middleweight title. So you kind of have, the, the, the strategy you want to do is just blast through the early fights as quick as possible. I love the arm triangle animation. Come to think of it, I love pretty much every animation in this game. The hooks aren't fantastic, but. I'll check my emails, you never know. No. Still nothing that I was disputed for. But hey, I, I'm, I'm still. I, I think we'll still do something fun though, but it might take a while. You can still recover some health on Ultimate if you can get quick submissions. But you're in a real bad place if... Oh, you're, in a, you're, in a, you're in a bad place if you... Um, if you have the damage to your head and you don't have much stamina. Because on Ultimate, you usually have to exert quite a bit. Well, I say quite a bit. You have to exert some anyway to get them out quickly. Get them out there quickly. So. Now available at tapout.com and now with our official introduction uh okay so if you hold if you go for the head kick button when they're going for a takedown it is intercept knee it does quite a bit of damage so i would say try if you if you're struggling to sprawl then see if you can time his takedowns with that intercept knee so when, basically when you see him shoot throw throw press the high kick button and it'll do an intercept knee anderson silva kendall grove and here we go. Joe, give us your thoughts on the chip. And I know what it's like. I know in 2010 as well, they'd catch punches a lot. They don't know nine quite a bit as well. On eight different occasions. Yeah, we've seen him struggle through the ranks as a rookie. And now... Oh! Oh! Huge suplex. Okay. Looking for the arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. No problem, man. I hope you get it. I hope you get it. I remember when I was younger, I tried to get it as well. I would always just reset my Xbox when I lost. Eventually I got it, yeah. By technically cheating, yes. What a performance. He I've tried doing a career where I go undefeated with uh, default stats on Ultimate, but it's uh It's tricky. I, I I have only got a few fights in before losing because you just have no power. Let's take a look at that again. Or much of anything. I mean I think it's possible, it's just it is tricky. Decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 40 That's an idea. How about I do an Eddie Bravo career mode? What do you think? Anyone want to see Eddie, an Eddie Bravo career? Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah, I'll be down for an Eddie Bravo career mode. Yeah, rubber guard. Save if there's no twister, but... Hey. In 09, yeah, you'll struggle with wrestlers if you don't have a wrestling preset, I don't know, I think. I don't know, you could up... The thing with 09 and especially 10 as well, you could do really well having OP stats in one area. No, he's not in the game. I'm just going to make him. Um, well, he is technically in the game as a trainer. I would probably make more modern Eddie, though. Coming up next, it's a middleweight title. Dude, that'd be so fun. I'd love that. Brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a berserk. Yeah, he takes you down and whispers a conspiracy, whispers a conspiracy theory in your ear. Yep. Murillo Bustamante, Kendall Grove. 
I love it if I can fight Hoist in Pride. One is underway. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the Octagon tonight? This is when I was a lot younger and I was playing it on... Uh, and no one seems to be able I was playing it uh, uh, Undisputed 2009. This will be his tenth title also, you can't actually hit the pause menu when you get knocked out in this game. As soon as the frame you get knocked out on, uh, they they disable the pause menu, which is smart. I'm going to be dumb and try and get him here. It's still early, so... And scoring big time. Okay, welcome. Looks like Bustamante is cut here, Mike. That one dropped. There we he's go. Hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he's dropping back for a heel hook. Joe, this place is going wild. Okay. He's cranking on that heel hook. There we go. It is fun. It's difficult, but it's fun. No, I was playing. Uh, the UFC middleweight title. I, I, I'm playing Tart Defense now. I'm talking about um, in 2009. I'll just be 2009. I know that, yeah, but it's easy to do it to the head because it's just it's easy to knock them out early to get these first fights out of the way. Joe, take a look at how he set it up. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is the early. This is the first ten fights where the difficulty is they don't, don't really. Go back and forth with the uh, submissions. But now it's going to get a little harder. Um, yeah, I was talking about 2009 when I was a lot younger. I would um, I would reset the Xbox to try and get undefeated Grimad. on to his UFC middleweight title. He has a back take. Oh, wait. No, he I don't think he has a back take. I think he only has the throw. Mike Lynch. I didn't think he could take the back. You had to take... I, didn't, I thought you could only get a slam or throw them. I didn't think there was a way to get that back from there. But yeah, I think it's Cage Makoli. You can get the, um, you can kick off the cage and take that back. Yeah, some subs, depending on the level, uh, will have more. Uh... Oh, I've got a defense counter now, so it's coming in handy, I suppose. This is about my 11th defense. Uh, yeah, depending on the level, you got higher sub. Uh, if the level is, if the submission is a higher level, then you get more of an initial bar. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. And now, with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. I lost last night. Yeah, I lost at 46 now, to Vandalay. This man is a Muay Thai, and now. I I was too uh, happy to strike. I I got hit. I got put in a position where I, you know you can't catch punches and he hammered on me and I lost. But it's all right because it wouldn't have really mattered anyway because I I didn't. My PS3 was set to turn on for five hours and I was not waking up every five hours just to play this. So what the fuck, man? Yeah, he seems to be on a completely different plane from everybody else. He's facing a very strong challenger tonight, but the odds maker still Motherfucker. him as a distant, distant favorite. Nice knee. What's up, Scrub? <laughs> Sorry, man. I feel like a bit of an ass when I say that. Push kick. You know what? Let's let's put him out of his misery. Now, fuck. Hold on. It might be it. It might be a low difficulty, but they can still hit hard. Yeah. 
I'll put it on. Bernard is recommended, and I think uh, Beta Alpha as well. No, someone else is well. I'll maybe mess around. Rick. Sorry. Ah, oh, I keep thinking, yeah, whip. I mean, at this point, there's not really reason not to spam the whip and just eventually get it. Uh-oh, come on. Shit. Hold on. I, I don't like how I'm getting done here. And he's pulling on the back of the head, Joe. This is going to be tight. That is a very nice triangle here. There we go. Sleep, sir. Yeah, what I get him in DC done? Eddie Bravo career, ladies and gentlemen. All the way. What a performance. He defends the UFC middleweight. Yeah, you have to, you can buy uh, from the shop. In, it's in game shop points. You can buy um, seven, I think. Coleman, Pride Chuck. A couple of other fires. As soon as he adjusts Some fry his as well, hands, he gets it in deeper. Then he pulls down the head, and his opponent is forced to tap. Here we see it one more time. And with our official decision, here. Is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, Honestly, if you've never played UD3, this is by far the best of a May game ever made. At two minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. I highly recommend it. Yeah, Shirk does have a good crucifix. That's a nasty cut. That's damage I didn't want to take. But... Yeah, they're all legends, so I, yeah, the uh, luggable ones are legends. Fair enough, yeah. Although, to be fair, I can, I mean, it because it's un undisputed, it feels like undisputed. Like, it, you could, like, 2009 and Undisputed 3, they feel, or, or, 2009 is stiffer. It doesn't flow quite as well, but it still feels like undisputed. I mean, you can go back through them and, and still uh, do it. Unfortunately, you won't be able to get the online trophies of 2010 unless you have an online pass, and even then nobody's playing. And actually, I don't think you can because I, I don't know if they turned the rank servers off for 2010, but for 3, you can't get the rank trophies. They're online trophies, which is that bitch. So unfortunately, the platinum is out of the question. But I suppose you can get all the, all the other ones. Sakurava would have been awesome, yeah. Again, what are we try making soccer up, I suppose? For this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands up. And now, introduce it. And when the action begins, our referee... Polo Filo, Kendall Grove. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall? Yeah, online you can play. Uh, oh, no, you can play online. I guess we'll find out. Which is weird, but it must have all been bits of here then. His belt and keep his win streak going against another talented and very hungry contender. He's as focused as I've ever Blind. seen him, Mike. His training, his conditioning. He hasn't let all the success change the way he prepared. Okay, come on now. If anything, all this top level competition has just honed his skills that much more. Uh, the quick match does, but you need online pass because EA. Oh, you see. It's a TSQ thing, I think that was, and it's every game doing it at that time, unfortunately. What an exchange here. Oh, nice left and a right. Let your hands go. 
But hey, I beat GSP last night, so he's doable. I Paulo man, he swings hard. No, unfortunately not. I don't think it will ever be because THQ is dead. Ukes don't. I don't. Ukes, I don't think have the ability to give it to green light backwards compatibility. And uh, EA has the undisputed license, so. Get down, son. They clinch again. Don't stop being an arsehole, Paulo. What's up, L4? Yeah, it is unfortunate. Well. Try to get him out of there, I guess. There we go. Yeah, must be peer to peer. Elbow. Wait, what am I doing? He's not going to catch punches yet. Holy shit. That ref doesn't give a fuck. I bet it's Mario. I don't think there will be. And even if there was, I... I don't know how well EA would do representing it. But I, as in, like, I don't know how authentic it would be. But they could... I don't know. You did a great job of that. Let's get some stamina back here. Growth is fatigued here. Can't. Oh, it's Mulholm. Okay. Mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. Here we go again. Throw more kicks. Oh yeah. I don't like that bruise, man. When you start seeing a pinkish bruise, it means you're hurt. When it's really, when it's bright pink, it means you are basically close to getting knocked out. I mean, you are like on the edge of death. All right, come on. We just got to come out strong and finish him. Yeah. This fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. Hold on. Let's let's get him out of here. Then. Fucker. Good right hand counter. Man, that knee landed heavy. See if I can. There we go. Oh. Oh, body shot. You are not gonna fucking cage me, son. Nice body shot and then hook combination. There we go. Nice one, ref. Two extra shots, not needed, but hey. Yeah. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall. Also, the ground and pound, if it's the same system, which I'm. It fucking better not be. Like, it, it's... I don't know. The problem is, someone pointed out the other day, and it makes a lot of sense. They actually, they do their ground up hand mocap with a real person. Rather than a, like, a, a punching bag or a dummy or something. Why don't they do it with a dummy? You can smash the shit out of that and, and get great looking animations. Yeah. Fortnite is great, yeah, I've got, I've got a few grimmers. Initially I thought it was quite stiff, but I just didn't really know how to play it properly. Well, I think before we get something like, you know, uh, uh, like an early UFC version, I think we need to get Prime first if we're going to get anything else. I, w I, w I would also like to see Strike Force because they can do it. Like, they easily, ha they easily can. E UFC has a Strike Force license. They, they own Strike Force, you know. Give me a career where I can go through Strike Force and Pride and bring out like bring out a bunch of legends.
next, it's a middleweight title fight. Ah, oh, shit, hold on. No, I have to do it manually. Whoops. What defense is this? Let's see. Yoshihiro Akiyama uh, set to enter the octagon 12. Okay, hold on. attempt to capture the belt. Yoshihiro Akiyama I don't use is a decorated one, don't third dan judo black belt. He's got great throws, takedowns, submissions, yeah, and go. combines that with the striking skill and Who's knockout that? power. He matches up well against almost anyone. Keke Sudo is awesome. Oh, Are, have you seen my Undisputed 4 video? A prototype has been found. And while it seems bullshit at first, you look into it, it starts looking real. Uh, check out the video I made the other way, the other week. It's called uh, UFC Undisputed 4. Uh, yeah, UFC Undisputed 4 listed on eBay for 6 grand. I've asked the guy for gameplay. He says he's going to get back to me with that. He says he needs to get a dev kit. And it's taken a while, but also I understand because COVID-19. So I'm guessing that's probably why. I don't think he has a dev kit on him. Um, I don't know. I imagine if he can sell a game for six grand and has an entire shop, I imagine he either can source a dev kit or buy one. Yoshihiro Akiyama, Kendall Grove. I don't think it's bullshit. Joe, how do you see this playing out? They, I mean, the I mean, when you look into it, man, the cover uh, is that the cover has the same logo made by Baz Pringle, the only person, the only other person aside from TH Hughes slash Hughes that would have known about it. Yeah, if I do, you guys will be the first to know on uh, Discord and here I'll post make a video on it as soon as I can. Trying to finish this fight by rear naked choke. It's pretty deep here. There we go. You just got to look into it, yep. Submission victory. Rear naked choke. So I'm probably going to do... I might do this in stints of 20 defenses. Or two hours or so. What a performance. He defends. Because I've set my PlayStation to not turn off. Middleweight title. I'll just leave it on. Okay, but how do you explain the cover being the official UI, the official logo made by Baz Pringle? I don't think you. I, I, I think that alone is huge proof. And there is even an animation of the logo in, like by by Pringle. The guy is not a bullshitter. The uh, the UI man. I mean, he's got tons of credentials, tons of projects. Yeah, I think that will uh, make me throw out my console. Uh, it what? Yeah, they they said it was in the works before it was cancelled. And it's not like Baz has put like a UFC four PNG of the logo up, uh, a PNG of the UFC four logo up in his site. And it would be tricky to get it looking that clean, um, even if you could cut it out. And I don't think there was one that was high enough res. Also, you know, it's got the UFC logo. And it has a manual which doesn't seem to have strikes from previous games. Or at least it does, but not all of them. Um. Well, if you think about it, Tier 2 went bust in June 2012, I think. And let's say they started development about January, December 2011, January 2012, early, you know, just before Undisputed 3. Because there are, you know, they do develop games. They should start developing games before the next one comes out, to an extent. There's a few months of gameplay there, and if they build off Undisputed 3, you basically have a, a game that works anyway. I don't think they've rebuilt it from the ground up. Especially if you look at Undisputed 09, 2010, and 3. It's, it's the same core that they built upon. I don't think they stripped the game down and rebuilt it, unless they better do Striking System, but even then, I think they would have kept the ground. Like, in early development, you would keep most of the last game, like, just to, I don't know, to be there. And then you can sort of work on changing it. And when the action begins, well, look at Call of Duty. They don't just—they don't strip it down and then. Well, they do—they do sort of a little bit. A lot of strip it down. You know, they replace stuff, but they—you know—they don't strip the engine away and then rebuild it every time. They add on to it. They improve it. They usually take the previous game, or like they did with um, the COD when they like Treyarch when they made World at War. They basically built it off COD 4. So if you look at the early version of the game, 
it has COD 4 weapons and all that. Oh, no, actually, I think... Yeah, some of it has COD 4 weapons when they were testing maps. And some of it has World at War weapons. Or Call of Duty 2 weapons, actually. As a World War 2. Just, I don't know, just to see. Just have the World War 2 weapon there while they were testing it. And uh, the COD 4 UI. I think it was the COD 4 development UI as well they had. Damn me, Marilla. I have not. I need to finish the first Doom, to be honest. But I'm definitely going to play it one day. If I can, I can try to keep vibrating like it's like well, like when you crash against the cage. I don't know. It's weird. I, maybe I think it's a top defense glitch. So we can inside with the clinch again. Like the trip it. There we go. How quick was that? There we go. Oh, we have the heel hook. He's cranking on that heel hook. Lucky man. Well done. And he rolls out of it. I dare you. Nice escape. He's looking for the triangle. You Mike. fool. That's a perfect position, Mike. He's got the arm across the neck. He's pulling tight. He's adjusting even tighter. Oh. Fuck you, man. Marillo, you slimy bastard. Shit! Fuck off, Marillo. Trying to remain calm. Come on, son, stop. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Got the butterflies in. Yeah. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Round one is complete. I got a flag now. Both men showcasing a wide variety of skills. That was five minutes of beautiful mixed martial arts, Mike. That is what this sport is all about. Yeah, throw more kicks, of course. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we all need to do in life. Throw more kicks at anything in your way. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was an unbelievable throw. Don't vary from the game plan. Are you okay, fighters? Are you ready? Are you ready? We start round two. Uh, I think so. For five, five minute rounds. He's one of the pioneers, you know. Oh, he ate a knee there. Beautiful knee. I'm gonna get you. Nice knee. Okay, weird. Inside leg kick. There we go. And now he's answered. Hit him one more flying knee, he'll be rocked. Sometimes shorter, quicker punches are the way to hey, go. Hey, come on now. What the hell? What's he done to you? When a fighter winds up with big bombs, it takes more time for those punches to land. And the shorter, more effective punches... What a there we go. Right Bang. Oh, okay. No, not yet. It's over. There you go. Good one, ref. Good, good stoppage. Yeah, look, he's in the chat, the beta alpha. What a performance. He Can we see it one more time? Game changers are saying look at EA play. Watch, again. Watch his elbow, the angle. That's a potential release. Or, or not release, but potential announcement. If it doesn't come there, then maybe. Uh, um. Then it might be pushed back.
Right, what defense are we on there? Well, I don't think they can reveal it at the next gen reveal. Well, they could, yeah, but I don't think they will. They usually, either it's an EA play or it's done, I think, for for this year. And they have never released it. They've never... Um, they've never announced it at pay-per-view before. But at some point, I started wondering if they would after they missed their... I'll say missed after they didn't release it, didn't announce it. Uh, around what they did last year, or well, for UFC 3, but no. I am morbidly curious to see what comes out of this, because there's, it, not, not, I say morbidly curious, because there seems to be a lot of internal arguing to an extent, and I kind of want to see if it's a huge mess. I think it's sold okay. It's got more players. It's got more players at peak than most of the other, yeah, with the other UFC, yeah, UFC games at launch. Well, no, at launch, not no, but generally, that's got more more people. I think. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is he's a fucking for... cheater. Dude, go me for get all this rising. I missed that one. Introducing the champion, and when the action begins, a referee in charge. Martin Campbell, go, man. Kendall Grove. And here we go, Joe. What are your thoughts on Kendall? Thank Grove you, sir. Into the octagon tonight. After being the middleweight champion for so long, you have to wonder what keeps him motivated. Since he came to the UFC, he's worked towards being the best in the world, and he hasn't. And the trip, nicely nice. done. How quick was that? Oh, oh shit. Nah, this ain't happening, son. Great submission defense. Slam him, Kel. Uh, can I even slam him? No. He got out. And he escapes. He's got the arm triangle. Mistake, mate. This might be He's trickier than I thought. Down with his there we go. Bang, bang. It is over. It is all over. Submission victory. Arm triangle. That's that's a hard one because I gameplay wise I would pick 2009. It can feel a bit stiff sometimes. That mo you know what bugs me on that is sometimes the, the hit side is a bit wild. I'll probably pick 09 though. Take a look at it. It's more responsive actually. What it is, yeah, it's way more responsive. It's just UFC three flows a little bit better. That's it. That's it. I'm just balancing that. Yeah, I'll be going on. One minute, 17 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by I would rather play UFC 3 in 2010, though. Uh, only because 2010 is completely fucked in that they ruined it. They ruined 2010 with the ground game. That stupid auto block. The dumbest thing. Man, that was a good game. I mean, I enjoyed 2010, but the problem is it's just kickboxing. Actually, to be fair, UFC 3 is kickboxing engaged, so I'll still pick 2010. Never mind, ignore me. Yeah, I'll pick 2010. Over UFC 3. But it is kind of fucked the way they they, they, they messed up the ground game. Oops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I've still got updated defenses. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Where are we at now? 15. Well, yeah, they're really... I don't know. I like the hit reactions, though, to be honest. They're quicker. Like they should be. Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove. 
And this is beautiful. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a Muay Thai. And now, introducing, and when the action begins, our ref you ready, sir? You ready? Anderson Silva, Kendall Grove. Round one is Fight. under. I think it'll be all right. Joe, give us your thoughts on the champion. I mean, can you believe the win streak this champion is on? You want to talk about MMA legends? You're looking at one right now. Yeah, he is unreal. It's been yeah, yeah. all the honest with games have. And having the honor of calling his fights. It's going to be a while before we see another competitor in MMA of his caliber. Looking for the arm triangle. Yeah. He's pressing down with his weight. There we go. That's all nice. The tap, the victory. Arm triangle. Submission to, on to the next one. Let's take a look at that. This subsystem is the best thing that the best in MMA, any MMA game. Decision. Easily. It's the most skillful. You can win with less stats if you're good enough. It, it, it's just it's logical. It's 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 the great it, honestly. I'm not saying this just because it's undisputed. I'm saying it's because it is legitimately the best subsystem ever in an in MMA game. Uh, real strategy to it. I don't know. He just he didn't really put it together. Number sixty. Fight between Ultimate Fighter winner. It is a, it's a, it's a, it's a problem. I never got it. I never played online when it was in its heyday. Didn't have online until like 2012 for the Xbox. And by that time, I'd sold on Disputed for the Xbox. I have it on the PS3 now. Yeah, I think there's a website where you can look up PlayStation trophies to see the description for it. And here we right. go. Joe, how do you see this playing out for the champion? This kind of high pressure situation is just business as usual for him. Yeah, he's faced more number one contenders than probably any other fighter who's ever okay. walked the planet. And tonight, his opponent is definitely one of the best. But everybody's an underdog against this guy. It looks like there we go. Do oh, I'm lucky I didn't actually shoot for that. Oh, Out of the way. Shoot, shoot. There we go. The Got a hold of the body, kept driving forward. Bang. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he's got hurt. him hurt. But he got rocked, but man, he snapped back quick. Uh well flush knockouts are luck based, yeah. But they are they're very rare, so they I mean you know. Rogue is fatigued here. God, I got so quick with a submission on this game. Oh, looking for a finish with Grove. No! Oh, you bastard. 
They are random, basically, but they are also very, very rare. The problem with 09 is you don't really get a good sense as to when they're too hurt. Lucky bastard. And now Grove is cut open. Bang. This building is electric. What a classic matchup. No, a flash KO, they're just random knockouts. What an exchange I mean... Here. Oh, shit! Well, it looked like he was hurt, but he snapped back really quick. Hold on. Problem. This must be averted. It's over. Yikes, that was worrying. So, a flash KO is... Uh, I believe there's an increased chance when it's mid-strike. I think that's the only time you can get a flash knockout. Actually, sometimes I think you can get them with regular strikes. Power strikes. Yeah, he does. He hits hard. He's got good wrestling defense. Good sub-defense in general. Though, luckily, he was gassed there. has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 30 seconds. Oh, I used to be terrible when I started. I, I know, I, I just kept spamming transitions and I kept getting reversed. But with experience, you learn. I love this game, this sketch graph thing. I love, this, I love everything about it. I think he's got a shot. But I think Qatar is technically much better. Or Kater. I keep calling Qatar. Calvin Kater. Almost an 150,000 shot points. What's up, Isaac? Uh, Isaac? Sorry, I thought Isaac at first. Isaac? Yeah, I've been, I've been playing... Uh, I've been playing McKenna for quite a while. I did a Tartar mode before. I obviously have to do a Tartar mode before you can do Tartar defense. It's actually sad how far EA went from not only this game. And it's their first chance, so you give them a bit of slack. Well, yeah, it is. Um, but from even fighting a champion in terms of like just general damage logic. Completely out of drain. Down of drain. Oh, hello, Mikey. DJ Mikey B. Who gives me trouble each time? Beat a piss out of me last time. I, I love Grove. I love Grove's Muay Thai style. Uh, yeah, I would just. I mean, you, honestly, Yux, THQ, Nordic. They'd be. They'd be. They'd, they'd be awesome back with UFC. I think Nordic have a bit. Have, their finances are a little better. For now, anyway. Michael Bisbee, Kendall Grove. You just need some of the old T H two guys, Wes Sims, Nevin Dravinsky. Get those guys back in order. T H two, fucking hell. Welcome, Yukes. Mm. Terrible idea. Whoa, that was dangerous. Come on, man. What are you doing, Michael? Same. Oh, big kick. Yeah, what, a bit, what would have been even better? I mean, obviously, LS3-4 would have been awesome. But imagine, Ukes made a game on the current gen of consoles. That would have been even better in terms of, like, holding up. I mean, it, this game holds up just fine, but I mean, like, imagine what they could have done on the next generation. Yeah, same. I'm still playing this bit through. I'll play 2010 now and again as well. Both guys banging on the inside, Mike. 
Ow. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, hold on. What the fuck, Michael? Calm down, son. Terrible idea. Full guard. I'm not a huge fan of this. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. Yeah. They found what they were trying to get with Undisputed 3. They listened to the fans. They they love it. They, I mean, they, they had a, a deep love for MMA. I'm not saying these EA devs don't love MMA. But the way they were able to they were the way they were able to translate it to a game, they understood how to put MMA into a game while still feeling like a great game. While also being realistic to like and, uh, you know reset, uh, representing the sport of MMA. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three That's minutes. The defense, is it? Twenty-two seconds of the very yeah, first round. That's very definitely one of his best subs. Due to a triangle choke. Right, 18. Yeah, the Kamora is great as well. The Dart is awesome, but it's hard. It's basically impossible to get. In career mode on ultimate because the AR will always just either block a punch or transition and it's frustrating and it sucks to get. The animation is nice. I wish we could have done it from Sprawl though or something. Do you know what sounds to me as well? The guys, the Wes Sims, who was one of the developers at THQ for this game, he said um, he said that they they would have liked to, that they said they would add the twister to the game once it happened in real life and unfortunately, oh I say it happened. Uh, it happened in real life only a few months after THQ went bang. I don't, I don't actually think it was after THQ went bang. I think it was around that same time. So I say unfortunate. It's not unfortunate in a way that it, you know, it's, a, it's not unfortunate that it happened. But of course, like, if only it would have happened a little bit earlier with the, the Twister. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know also bugs me? It doesn't even have a replay system. Like, this doesn't. Alright, fair enough. But, you, you know, Uke's games don't really. But e e every EA Sports game has a replay system. And U UFC doesn't. I would actually enjoy UFC 3 if it had a replay system. Because I'd like to make sort of... I guess you would call them machinimas in a way. Like, you, well, I don't know about machinimas. You know, sort of just like little uh, cinematic videos. Mira's awesome, yeah. Great boxing. Call my gear, right? With our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a free star. And now, introduce, and when the action begins, our rep you ready, sir? You ready? Cork McGee, Kendall Grove. And here. Do you know, I just realized. Don't know if. Ah, uh, no. Sorry, I'll just check something here. Okay. Uh, it's alright for the first time. Uh, it gets pretty boring, though, either way. Here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the Octagon tonight? You know, really, the number of times he's defeated... It feels like they tried to do UFC 2010's crew mode, but didn't do it anywhere near as good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get it with the. Oh, big kick! Nice body kick. Again with the leg kicks. Face, face. He's got glitch. There we go. Oh, Beautiful. He ate that one. Oh, he's got an arm bar. Man, the cheers in here. See if we can finish him with this. This crowd is loving this. 
That is a tight, tight arm bar. Bang. It's time to tap. I also love the effect when they get when they get rocked. I love the way it goes black and white, and the cameras actually flash a ton if you notice. Only, only, only saw that the other day. Well, I didn't notice it the other day, rather. Yes, that was that. Joe, once he went for that arm, he was not going to let go until the submission came. Yeah, beautiful technique. Here you see he's got the arm isolated. That's fine. He pushes wrong with that. straightens that arm out, and his opponent is forced to tap. Everyone starts somewhere. I think I remember seeing an advert on telly when I was young. But I want to say it was UFC 98, but I think it was a fight night. It was um, Dan Hardy versus Marcus Davis. The Irish hand grenade. Then I watched UFC 100. That was good. I accidentally spoiled Lesnar Carwin for myself when I was young. I accidentally went on the internet and searched. I don't know why the fuck. That was essentially when I learned not to fucking spoil shit. That was so annoying as well because I I, 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 I almost thought I kind of misread the title of the article that I read. And, no. Man, I wish Carwin would have got that fight. Ah. Uh, if that was today, they probably would have stopped it. That's old school. By tap out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. We are now set for the yeah. official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. I wasn't even alive in the nineties. Now this man is a mixed martial. And now introduce. And when the action begins, our rep you ready? Name bar court. Kendall Grove. And we are Fight. underway. Joe, what are your thoughts on Kendall Grove coming into the Octagon tonight? This man comes in tonight. Yeah, I would have liked to be a, been around in the era of the, you know, the SNES and all that, but still. He's definitely the undisputed I'm not sure why. You guys should. And he has I demand you celebrate. But at the same time, you know. Nothing oh, wrong with you. you know, I'm, I'm happy being born when I was, I suppose. Shit, I'm happy to be born in the first place. Got to be grateful for that. Although, had I not been born, I would never have known anyone, you know. But still, I'm grateful. Nice try, Nate. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Toehold from Kendall Grove. Let's go, son. I don't think we're going to get it, but I'll try. Man, that leg is jacked up right now. That is a tight toehold. There yeah, we go. Nice job. He remained calm and he pushes his opponent away. Nice escape. I'm trying to go with that Ooh. overhand right. Keep hitting that body. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Push kick. Inside leg kick. There we go. I've seen a, a little bit of it. I mean, I've seen, you know, I've seen Hoist fight uh, Ken and all that, and I've seen some of the Pride Wars, Wars as well. <laughs> that shot right there is a 2010 strike, I'm pretty sure. Do you know what? What actually is that? Let's see. Oh, check the goals of the game. Uh... Let's see what it is. 
Oh, mate. I just can't hold on. Wait. Nesta Mark Wall. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's an undercar, huh? Okay. Wait, no, I, I don't... Hold on. Hmm. It was a little different. Fair enough. Ah, hold on. Wait. Right ducking uppercut to head. Oh, that's... Blimey. Fair enough. I'll check those out after. You are not going to cage me, son. Oh. Excellent combination. Under a minute remains. Oh, body shot. Nice body kick. There oh, we nice go. Wow. Yeah. Perfectly timed, perfectly placed. And then Hoist comes in and wrecks everybody. The world certainly knew about jiu-jitsu then. Well, it's all. This yeah. crowd is loving it, Mike. What a fight. It obviously took a while to grow to the level it is today, but that was a big catalyst. There we go. The crowd is on its feet. These two fighters kept it standing, and they went to war, Joe. That was a beautiful display of striking skills from both guys, Mike. That round there is why we love this sport so much. Okay. Let me guess, throw more kicks. No, don't see any bad arrows, blimey. I think I threw enough kicks this time. Alright, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was a beautiful... You can feed him. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Oh no, dude, fuck Gerald Goddard. He poked the, he absolutely gouged the fuck out. I forget who he fought. I think it was in Pride. Or he's in some organization in Japan, I believe. I gouged the fuck out of this guy. And he never actually told anyone that he went blind. He never really told anyone because he said he didn't want to... His, his master told him he, he, uh, it would bring... Uh, basically bring, you know, bad press to MMA, in a way. There we go. Yeah. There you go. You mean the Kai. Oh, fuck off, Nate. Die, will you? Well, I would time you out. Well. It's, uh... Yes, I suppose I would. I, I should have done that earlier with the other guy. That Paroxys guy. Next time I see him, I am gonna, I am gonna time him out. I think. I let him off the hook initially because, oh, yeah, it seemed like he was just conversing with himself. But yeah, next time I see him, I'll give him a warning. I mean, I did tell him to calm it down. He didn't. So next time I see him, I will. Give him a warning. If he says it again, I'll just time him out. UFC middleweight title. What's up, Howard? Jumps. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 41 seconds of the second round. That Paroxys dude, who wasn't it? It's not real Paroxys, some guy who has like four accounts. Some, I don't know, trying to imitate him. I should have, I should have probably tied him out early, to be honest. I let, I let him off. Uh, or I think I'll do my maybe five mod offenses and then call it a day. 
Or at least for now. Hey, maybe one day. I suppose that's one day. It's bucket, 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 bucket. Justin Brown one KO. Cruz decision. <laughs> uh, in Garde Ram one KO. But I could also see Jaya win, winning in the first. Oh, look, Tree Truck Man again. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by. UFC Store. The sport lives here. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, this man is a Brazilian. And now, introducing, and when the action begins. What are you what about? Are you ready to fight? Who's Samar Paul Harris? Who's Joe? Kendall Grove. And here we go. On, Joe, give go. us your thoughts on the champion. As the reigning champion, he enters the... Yeah, you think I care about show of respect to who's Incredible win streak, a streak that's one of the most. They keep saying it's boring. I don't get it. Ah, oh, funny. Yeah, when you think of this guy, you think of complete and total domination. No one can find a way to beat him. Nice inside leg. Keep working kick. that body. Back nice. that's, 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 that's the route. Nice this is the route, you fucks. Got to wait for my stamina to come back. Oh shit! Whoa! Motherfucker! All right, fine. Wow! Perfectly timed, perfectly placed. What an exchange! Okay. Oh, big kick! He's hurt badly. He's down. Come on. Dives into the full guard. Oh, good elbows. Watch out for the submissions. What is he doing? Why is this why is this undefensible? What the fuck? There we go. I think he's glitched with the uh with the fucking uh the watch we call it. What the fuck? With the um <sighs> the the sliding hill hook. Bro, what the fuck, man? Fine, get up. What the fuck, ref? There you go. Referee's gonna stand him up here. Good call. Let's see if it gets a little faster toe to toe. Fine. I'll fit. I'll finish you. Happily. Happily, sir. Oh, come off it. He just doesn't strike, see? Wow. What the fuck? You odd man. That's not a submission. But okay. Gotta keep those uh, hands up inside. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? We start round two. On, this fight's scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Oh, what the Good fuck? To the leg of his opponent. There you go. He's coming out. Stronger now. Yeah. Fuck. Some vicious kicks. <laughs> I think it's because they, the, like, the, they, the game still thought he was stuck in the. Uh, I think they, the game still thought he was stuck in the. Um, 
Hill hook. Nice try. What the fuck? Go for the thing, damn it. Man, I hate Groves Cardia. Or rather, the lack of. Go on. You fool. He keeps throwing the same shit, and I kind of love it. He's got his back. Go on. Again, I dare you. Get done. Fuck you. Pushing his opponent away. Bro, is he this week? Nice leg kick. Oh, I guess so. I'll be finishing by a front kick. Come on, son. Hit me. Why? He wouldn't let me fucking throw a kick. Damn you, throw, damn you. Both guys staying in tight. Oh my god. He's got his back here. Paul Harris is breathing heavy there we right go. now, Mike. How? There we go. Body shots. Why not? Dude, oh, what a fucking chin he's got. In this UFC title fight. Man, Joe, the bell may have very well saved him there. Yeah, that submission was locked in tight. And ending around in a dominant position like that sends a very strong message to the judges. He's running. Let's... You gotta fight your fight. Are yeah, he you takes some damage. Are you ready? <sighs> and we are set on, for the start of round three. Oh, get fucked. Knee. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, he's hurt. That one dropped him. And now looking for the finish. There's no way. Get done. Delete yourself from life. Wow, what a performance. Oh. <sighs> What a performance. Yeah. He defends the UFC middleweight title. Right, I think I'm going to call it there for now, and I'll come back in a little while. And, with the and then do another decision, 20. I think that's the best way to do it. Stay fresh, you know. Leave the console on. Plug the controller in. Twenty-one now. There you go. I'm gonna call it there for 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 a little while because I I need to do this in breaks. I'm not sitting here for God knows how many hours. Put that defense counter there, there we go. Let's see. Hold on, bring it up a little bit. There we go. Alright. I'll call it there for, for a little for for now. I'll be back later. Hope to see you hope to see that. Have a good day everyone. Stay safe. Be careful if you do have to go out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.